I turned on the TV last night to watch the Golden Globe Awards a little bit. I think Joe Coy got the gig 10 days before the Golden Globes because yeah, nobody wanted... Yeah, I read want- that he said that, and I was like, well, that's weird to be 10 days out and still not have a host. Nobody wanted to host this thing. A bunch of high-profile comedians reportedly turned down the gig, including Chris Rock. Finally, everyone's getting smart. Those shows are fucking difficult to do. You know, Which and if you Joe got, Coy apparently found out. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, they're, they're panning him, but I didn't even understand. Someone said that he was mean about uh, Taylor Swift. The big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL, on the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. <laughs> There's just more to go to. Okay. Sorry about that. And they cu- Sorry they cut, about that. They cut to Taylor Swift, and she gave like this mean look, stern look at him. And I thought she was joking around, but uh, you see various media reports. I think Page Six even put out a report saying if looks could kill, <laughs> like <laughs> the Taylor Swift was actually mad at Joe Coy, which was a little well, ridiculous. I the, should have come the, out and, and talked about the fact that they chose him 10 days ago because no one else in Hollywood wanted the fucking gig and then work from there. That's the premise I would have gone with and said, no wonder no one wants this gig. Can't make fun <laughs> of anybody anymore. I felt bad for the dude because 10 days, because I've talked to Jimmy about this and he does such a great job with the, uh, Jimbo oh, Kimbo. with the Academy Awards. He prepares for like six months. I mean, he's yeah. got, he's got a whole, and, 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 uh, Molly, is the executive producer. I mean, they work their asses off on that thing. 10 days. Yeah. You're you're doomed. Not nearly enough time. Yeah. Standing up there and telling those jokes to a bunch of people who don't want to be laughed at is the biggest bummer in the world. That's why I always praise Jimmy and the job he does with it because Hollywood has no sense of humor about itself. And those people in that audience do not want to be made fun of. They're very concerned about their image and their publicist. I mean, if you're shelling out 25, 30% of your income on publicists and agents and managers, you don't want to be goofed on, on television. You want to be treated like the serious actor, like you're doing the most important shit on the planet. So to go up there and, and be the host of the golden globes, it's a ridiculous gig. You got to sit there and goof on people, but goof on them in such a pleasant way that they're like smiling afterwards. Oh, that was nice. Like I was watching this guy do his thing last night and he was talking about Robert De Niro and Robert De Niro was laughing hysterically. Like he was in the movie Cape Fear and you're like, gee, De Niro could have been just, you know, stone cold, like nasty during it. Yeah. But he seemed to like it, but you never know. I mean, who wants to play Russian roulette on live television? With your career. Oh, I mean, what you, the hell? It's the stupidest fucking gig. I mean, comedians are, are supposed to be funny. And the only way to be funny is to be cynical. So why would you go to an event where they don't let you be cynical because they'll boo you? 